guys welcome back to my channel i'm back today welcome back so basically i'm obviously i'm blonde as you can see so this hair is from i show hair make sure you all follow me on my social media make sure you follow me on instagram or whatever follow me on snapchat anyway but yeah so this hair is from i show hair this was a wig which was such a relief because i got a lot of wigs this week so it's just a wig so i don't have to worry about it i have to worry about sewing anything i just kind of got right to what i did i toned this wig up you know i what do you call it i dyed the roots myself and it, that will all be you know seen and talked about and discussed in this video and you know i just kind of did i mostly got this haircut i'm gonna dye this hair purple like lavender lavender purple but that's that will be coming this week but anyway but yeah this hair was a 24 inch wig and i just kind of wanted to do blonde for anybody any of the other girls any other dark skin girls wanted to do blonde and see how it look on themselves even though i've done like platinum blonde before on this channel but i had like dark roots but the company like it's they sent it to me with one b roots so this is just a straight wig and i just did the roots myself and i just paired it with a little headband if you remember, this is a little Sasan headband. If you're interested, I'll have it in the link down below. If you're like an OG OG follower, you remember I did my first vlog and I got this headband at the little Sasan store. If you remember, at the Louis store, if you remember, like you really a, like a follower from like that was like 2017, I think, or 2016. Probably I think it was 2017. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm battling too much. And if you interested in the blonde wig, platinum blonde, you want to do any type of colors, whatever, I show hair, check them out. This is a 24 inch wig that I cut. I'll be coming with looks this week with this hair. So yeah, I'll check, see you guys. So first, I'm going to start off with toning the blonde wig. We're going to take some of that yellow out. So I'm using Shimmer Lights, the purple shampoo, to kind of tone it. I didn't really, like, have, like, an exact measurement. I just kind of put, you know, as much as I thought would work. And then I stir it. As you can see, the purple is kind of, like, going everywhere. So once, like, all the shampoo, like, dissolved and stuff, I just put the wig in. And what I just made sure to do, what I recommend, is just, like, make sure you move the wig around. You know, run your fingers through it so, like, the wig is so it's just not turning so that the yellow, the yellowness is not just coming out of one area, it's coming out of the whole entire wig. Like, I just wanted to get rid of the brassiness, the yellowness. I didn't want really, like, yellow, yellow, platinum blonde, you know, and the hair was very yellow. So, yeah, it came out pretty, pretty good, and I let it, I squeezed it out, then I let it air dry. And then second, we're going to install. And what I didn't show, what you're going to see, is that my roots are brown, which I didn't show. Because I feel like I didn't really have to show it, and I have a video of how to, like, dye, you know, your roots and stuff without it getting on your lace and all that kind of stuff i'll link it down below if anybody's interested and if you can stick a separation between my skin and the makeup is because i had to put alcohol to remove you know remove the makeup from my skin so that i could install the wig properly so i am using ghost bond glue you guys know i use ghost bond a lot i either use ghost bond or i use um i use lace tape but i've been using ghost bond for the most part I let it I usually let it get more clear than that but I was being a little impatient and I just installed it and now I'm just getting like the little you know the little areas that I didn't catch the first time I'm just going back in with my little comb using the end of it and then kind of just pushing the lace into my skin basically that's all I'm doing and I'm just basically getting any little area that I didn't get because you don't want your you know you don't want your wig to be like lifting lifting anywhere so you want to make sure you can get everywhere as possible you know, the more flat it lays down and the more, you know, glued it is to your head, it's going to look more natural and stuff. But yeah, I'm just getting around my forehead and stuff. I did not lay the um, wig all the way around, just the part where the side part is showing, as you can see. The next step is baby hairs. So I've, you know, you guys see me do baby hairs plenty of times. I kind of just take some hair out, I get my scissors, I cut it. As you can see, which what I'm doing. I cut it. I could have honestly tinted this um, the lace on this wig, but I really didn't. And basically, I'm using mousse to um, what do you call it? To lay my baby hairs down. I like using mousse so much better. As long as your mousse doesn't have alcohol, it will not disturb your lace. You know, like it won't make your wig lift or anything. As long as there's no, as long as there's no alcohol or no oil, you're good. So next step is cutting. So basically, I decided that I wanted to cut this wig into a bob. So that's what I did. And I kind of did like kind of an asymmetrical kind of look. And I kind of just used regular scissors. And then I just did like the main cutting in front of the camera. And I kind of just did the rest of the cutting off camera. But as you can see, one side is shorter than the other. I put it behind my ear. And I kind of just did the back. And it came out really nice. You know, when I cut it, it's all even and stuff. And just look how nice it's toned and stuff. It's not like that real, real yellow, yellow blonde. Some girls can get away with yellow, yellow blonde, but I don't think I can. And then next, we're going to do styling, which is basically all I did was just straighten the wig. And I just kind of curled my ends. Okay, yeah, I just kind of just curled my ends and made sure that my hair was flat and everything. And I feel like the wig looked pretty good for me just doing like a real quick, quick, quick install. Was anything perfect? Was anything I was going to do, you know, wear for like a 
whole bunch of days because like I said I'm not really sure I really want to do the main I'm, I am gonna wear this wig but I'm gonna do it with the when I dye it lavender which I have already because this is a voiceover so that video will be coming like in a few days and then my camera became blurry all of a sudden but that's basically it that's the ending so that's basically it you guys basically see how I got this hair so yeah hope you guys enjoy Keep a lookout for the lavender hair this week. Check out I Show Hair. I don't, I don't look. I don't think the blonde is well. This blonde or how this one looks is personally for me. I feel like it kind of. I don't know. I don't really. I'm not really feeling it like that. But I do like the hair though. That's what I can say for a fact. I do like the hair. So stay tuned for the purple hair. For the purple hair color this week. And I'm sure you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video.